inside a Federal Reserve grade bank vault. Wow, that is thick. Ryan Ziegler showed us the Lunar Sample Laboratory, NASA's collection of moon rocks. In here, our white anti-contamination jumpsuits are a must. This is the largest collection. This is by far the largest collection anywhere in the world. Humanity's first samples taken from another world, older than any rocks found on Earth. So this is essentially the oldest rock from the moon. That rock is 4.4 billion years old, and the moon might only be 4.4 billion years old. Try to get a rock in here. Six Apollo missions landed men on the moon. Is this one right here? That's it. You got it right there. Their astronauts turned geologists collected in all 842 pounds of lunar rock and soil starting 50 years ago this month. There you go. This was the last sample collected on the Apollo 11 mission, and Neil Armstrong decided that the rock box with the samples in it looked empty, so he shoveled four or five shovelfuls of dirt into the rock box. He just did it on his own. Did it on his own. Apollo 11 soil sits inside these two dishes. Probably the most valuable sample the Apollo 11 mission brought back. If I could pick one sample from Apollo 11, this is it. Not a rock. Not a rock. Soil. Nitrogen pumped inside these stainless steel cabinets preserves the rocks inside. This display showcases the collection's highlights. Is this the Lunar Rock Hall of Fame? Pretty much, yeah. Rocks as old as our solar system, Apollo's geologic legacy. It's a hands-on collection for someone with training and three sets of gloves. How heavy is that one? This weighs six or seven pounds would be my guess. Still kind of fun to pick oh, it up. Oh, it never stops being fun. It's amazing. Every day I come into the lab is just like the first day. Many rocks have stories. This one involves Apollo 16 astronaut Charlie Duke in 1972. Of all the rocks collected by the Apollo missions, that was the biggest. So there's a great video of Charlie Duke rolling that up the leg of his spacesuit because it was so big, and it turned out to be a really important sample. It was hard work, yeah. Duke, now 83, talked to us about rock collecting on the moon. Working against that suit was demanding. So after eight hours in that suit, you were really tired. You'd squeeze in the gloves and in and out of the car, and trying to bend over, and so it was exhausting. Big baby salute. But worth it. How about rolling that one over? The rocks oh, revealed hey. secrets. That's 20 pounds. Huh? Including the moon's That's own violent origin. Long. Scientists now believe a Mars-sized planet collided with Earth, exploding a ring of debris that formed the moon. That was about four and a half billion years ago. How significant we're bringing back the moon rocks. The moon rocks taught us about the entire solar system. Arguably the most important geological find ever. I'm sure there are people who would argue with that, but I, I think they would lose. This corner houses something special. In our top secret, high security, don't go beyond this cord cabinet. Inside are the final six pristine moon samples, unsealed, unstudied until now. NASA will soon open three of them, saving the rest for the next generation of researchers. Mark Strassman at the Johnson Space Center.